G'day, how you going? This is Ian Harris from Australia here. I'm gonna do another painting. We'll just do this one freehand, we'll wing it. So I've put my gloves on, got my beautiful apron on. And um, this is um, one of my canvases I've reversed. So I'm just gonna use this. It's already, when it was reversed, I've already had it primed up in sealing white paint, just with the normal paint you paint your ceilings with. But anyway, come down here. These are the paints we're gonna use on this painting. It's just my prime blue. It's not phalo blue or nothing like that. We've got um, our violet there, which is um, diosmin pot. Oh, how do you pronounce it? Dioxinine violet. You know the one I mean, it's purple. And white. And also, we're gonna use a retarder. Okay, so um, first thing, we'll spray this canvas with my water and I'm going to get the white with a dollop of retarder. Okay, so we'll virtually prime our, I want a bit more retarder in there, we'll virtually prime up our canvas. Alright, that's primed up. So what I might do now is um, we want, I'll, I won't wash that brush, I'll just wipe it. So I'll just get a rag, any old rag. So it's got a bit of paint in there still. Now this blue paint, I'll bring some of that down here. With some retarder, okay. Now I'm gonna start in the middle. Well, roughly where my horizon line is, where I reckon's about there somewhere, okay. So I wanna, I wanna start there. Get a bit more on my brush there. Now see how that retarder's allowed all this to, and I'm gonna, I wanna blend it down. I'm looking for that magic sweet spot in the horizon, you know. Now if you come closer, you can see, if I never had retarder in here, this wouldn't have blended as well. That's why I'm mad on my retarder. Okay, I've washed my brush. Now I'm gonna get a, a little bit of um, me purple and just stab in that blue. See down here what I did? I just grabbed a little bit of the purple and put into that blue there. Maybe get a bit more blue into there. Okay. We're gonna come down about maybe from here. And I wanna bring that into the blue. Right, I'm just gonna wipe the brush with the rag, nothing special. And this bit here, I'm just gonna blend into that lower blue so it looks more lovely. Okay, we're putting a bit of the darker color down here for the, the water as well, okay? I'll blend that. It's always a great feeling to blend your paint because you're, you're getting the job done. It's all blended, eh? That's what I like about blending your paints. They get blended and you're happy with it. All right. Now I still need a bit more dark over here. So we'll put some more over here. Probably over Get a, there's probably a bit 
bit more up here. I'm not happy with there. Now, we'll get some, the rest of this will be blue in here. See, what I'm doing, I'm just flapping it on in between the dark paint, right? Muck around a bit, get it on there, instead of all the way in there. And once I'm happy with where it is, this is just what I'm doing real quickly in my mind. And then I'll bring those bits into the, the darker bit. See, like so. Instead of contaminating all this colour here, because I don't know if you noticed, but down there I had a bit of a contamination problem. But now we can softly kiss the two together. Give them a good old kiss, beautiful kiss, look at that. Sometimes paints love a good kiss. Well, we got a mistake there, but we'll deal with that. Okay, now I wanna get some just white, just some white on there and probably dollop on here because this is gonna be like a, um, what would you call it? Distant, distant clouds. So I virtually want to just put that on there like so and just get me blending brush and very softly, like you've seen me do before, like a mist sort of thing. This is going to be the, the white glare. This ain't clouds here, it's glare. Look at that. That's exactly what I want to happen with that paint. And because, I'll give it a bit of a wipe as I go. That retarder is helping me do that. That's what you call action in your paint. That's really good. You got no retarder, you got no action. Just remember that, eh? I'll wipe my brush again a bit more. Turn it around. Just make it look arty and uneven, you know what, nothing uniformed. Come in a bit closer, I just want to show you here. See, I'm fine with that, but see, see the ends, how it's a bit of a harsh, they're not really kissing properly, they've got their mouths shut. Let's make them tongue kiss. So then... Now can you see what happened just there? That's what I want it to happen. This is my horizon line, but because I haven't painted the atmosphere into it, this is going to go create my atmosphere. It's, it's what the Background's gonna, the foreground's gonna be in front of, so this will be picked up later on. Okay, we've done the mist. I'm gonna, I want a few little darker spots, just maybe a bit more here. So I'm just gonna dab them on like so, and then blend it into that back area again, so they're having a nice kiss, so to speak. Because I'm going to do some, I don't know if you remember the Pokemon battle painting I did that had beautiful clouds with a white rim around the edge of them. I'm trying to get that effect in all this. So that's what I'm going for today. So it's sort of like the clouds of framing everything and you're looking through a porthole of clouds.
Right, like I said, we're going to blow dry it. She's all dry. I've got a piece of paper. I've cut out the size of my moon. We all know how to cut a piece of hole. No, we all know how to cut a hole in a piece of paper. So I want my moon about there. Just place him on. This is why I had to dry it, for those of you who don't know why. And that just makes a beautiful, sharp, crisp moon. Now, we've got our sponges, the household sponges. I'll wet that like I normally do. Give it a bit of a squeeze if you have to. Don't get paint on the floor, or Jude will get upset, won't she? Sorry about the paint, Jude, sorry! She'll be right, she's got to clean it up. Now we've got, on the palette, I've just put some medium grey and a darker grey, and I've got my whites there, so for our moon, okay? so. Let's get this thing started. And if anything, I want the bottom of this moon darker than the top. So we're gonna pat it on like so. But I'm also putting this color up here as well, because when I add the lighter gray, it's gonna mix with this gray. So it gives it that sort of a it's not just a dark and a medium colour there, you know? Okay, so I'm going to turn my thing around, my sponge around, and use the, the lighter bit of grey, because I want this to be the top sort of colour. And as you know, Ian Apples's moons evaporate. So we're just sort of getting this around somewhere, okay? And a little bit of dark down the bottom, and that'll do for our moon anyway. See, you gotta to learn to stop with stuff. You get carried away, and you can kill it. But anyway, let's see if we're happy with that moon. All right, we're happy with that. Now I'm just gonna come down here, like I've shown you before. I just chisel it on my hog bristle fan brush because this fan brush is quite coarse. Okay, back up to the canvas where you were before, that's it, somewhere there. And we're gonna do a bit of cloud. So first, I'm seeing one behind it, so I'm just putting that there, and I'm gonna blend. All right, I'm happy with that. Now we've got a choppy row of clouds, so... Choppity chop, choppity chop. And into oblivion. I like that, you go do do into oblivion. I think it's oblivion, something like that. Now... Now out here is a lot of a lot more glare in the sky. This is more glare but stronger than the first piece we put on. What I'm doing, you might not see it on the camera, now I'm just creating the outline of where I want my clouds, the top ring of my clouds. Alright, I've got my filbert brush and I'm using this beautiful round one because that's going to create the little scallops on all the top of our row, uh, row of clouds up here okay so we virtually chisel it on both sides and then like we did if you saw that other painting we're virtually going to keep this edge nice lots of humps or scallops whatever you want to call them I don't know what they're called and that's going to be pulled down into oblivion that can be faded away because that's going to be the edge so we're going to virtually go like this all the way around. Okay, we're getting there. Now, also, you want some of this with some glare, so you can wear the paint out off your brush, and while we're doing this, glare that into a mist, okay? Now see, my brush is, I can use another one for that, just for blending. Blend that out into nothing as well. 
This might look funny, or you think, what's that doing there? I won't worry about doing that, but at the end of the picture, it comes into play. Okay, just a bit, well, I'm trying to find my line. You just can't see it, but trust me, it's there. You don't want to paint this white too big, because remembering, we're going to bring our darker blue off this. Now that's, okay. I want a bit of, um, I want to fade a bit of this out of there. So we'll use our blending brush, or the brush we're going to use to blend it. Smoky, smoky doors and all this out there. Okay, now what we're going to do, it's pretty simple. We're going to bring our blue off of this one, okay? So we'll get our um, blue, which is on the palette here already. We want the dark blue, so we've had it mixed with some of that purple. Oh, it down there. Now this is where you get your filbert brush again. And we're going to come in and we want it nice and sharp just leaving the the little rim around the clouds now we've got all our dark blue on i'm gonna i want to blend it into this horizon color again i'm just stabbing it with me filbert brush here and there Just gonna blend all hang on I'll get the, the lighter colour in there first. Boom 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 boom. Now that's blending in what I want it to do. Detailed all the clouds now the way I'm happy with it. Now we're gonna just put a bit of reflection in the water and our horizon line. So I'm just spraying my acrylic paint on there, keeping it nice and wet. Oh, wrong color here. Now we're gonna go for a lighter blue, which I've got here. I've wet this so as we can, let's see, I'm just using my fan brush, okay? And we'll sort of, Where's our moon? The moon's pretty high, so the... Better get that a bit more wet. Because I want a bit of, um, for this being the reflective area. Probably out to here. Yeah, that's it. That's it, over here. Leaving some use my fan brush now I'm gonna use my blending brush just to kiss those edges see the water's helping this come over here now see here what it's doing it's it's kissing it beautiful that's it don't muck with it leave it alone now I wash my brush out again now we're going to add some white with that. 
So now again, I'm going to start our reflection from the moon about here. Just bits in between. As, as white as this is going on, once I kiss it, it's going to... dull and down or, or what do you call it fade and then I'll knife on the surface of the water okay so we've done that let's make sure you now we're gonna try and kiss this without ruining the, the blue stuff we just kissed a bit more wet up keeping them straight I'm going to just put the surface on now. So we grab a knife and some white paint and we'll find just probably closest to the front here now. Can you see that? Now I'm going to use the dioxine purple and my coarse fan brush and all we're going to do now is put the horizon line in so I'm just going to do it like a bit of a um, setback mountains over the water. I'm using my fan brush because for some reason I find my fan brush all right eh. So we'll put a bit of a bay around there. And that's pretty much because out here it's not going to have that big of a reflection it's not very realistic this is just a basic horizon line to fix up a good painting this painting was all about the the sky okay less is more so I'm not going to have a great big detailed um, horizon line now we've got my little beauty brush. It's a little beauty because it does beautiful things, like I've said. Now I'm just using this to get the line against the edge here. Because I'm scared to use that knife up here. It doesn't have to be a perfect line. Just Okay, we've just fix this land up a bit because I wasn't happy with and now I'm just separating that from the water and over here all right I'm just going to sign it now with my syringe This syringe allows me to do nice fine lines. I, my printer I refill the ink up with comes with these needles. And the other day I was just thinking it would work like a hobby text pen. My mother used to paint hobby text when we were younger. And this has reminded me of that. Ooh, but this ain't for everyone I'm telling you right now anyway alrighty that's all signed now so I might detail that a bit after off camera but um, we'll give this one a name um, I don't know moon over water we'll call this one moon over water okay so if you like something I've done like this tell a friend but if you don't tell everybody Okay, goodbye, good luck, and good on ya.